All right, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a pattern change that I expect to start around the 21st through the 24th and last through the rest of the month, and it's going to affect precipitation and temperatures. I'll talk about that throughout the rest of the video. But before I get started with this one, though, I would ask that you do subscribe. If you do like weather-related content, I make all sorts of videos like this, monthly forecast, seasonal forecast, and forecast for storms that are happening right now. So I highly recommend that. All right, so we're looking at the GEFS model. This is the GFS Ensemble model. And we're looking at geopotential height, and this is a good... Um, this is a good tool to use to see where, you know, troughs and ridges set up. So we can see right now, it's kind of a weak trough in the west, weak ridge in the east. Kind of a ridge everywhere, though. Uh, there's hardly a trough in the west. Now, we're going to move on one here, and you can see by Wednesday the 24th, we do have a trough in the east, ridge in the west. And this is kind of part of that cooldown that I've been calling for over the last few videos around the 24th. So you can see there is a trough in the east, ridge in the west classic look right there. Now we're going to move on to the ECMWF model here, the Ensemble model, and you can see it's the same story around the 20th. You can see we have that little tiny trough in the e or trough in the west and then ridge in the west or what ridge in the east, huge ridge in the east there, and it kind of extends into the central United States. But you can see by the 25th though, we do have that kind of mini mini trough in the in the east but we really really have a ridge in the west there set up so both these models are calling for that so we're quite confident in that and you can see by the second of august even it's still kind of now it's an ensemble model so it kind of goes in a lot of different directions as we look long term but you can see judging by these lines you can tell that it's still a ridge in the west trough in the east by this point so i'm expecting this to last into the beginning of august actually now, we're going to be taking a look at the temperature anomalies according to the ECMWF model, EPS, which is, again, the ensemble. And you can see in that 20th time frame, once again, you can see we're expecting colder temperatures where that little trough is, but really a lot of warm temperatures there for the central and eastern United States. But by the 24th, you can see we do have colder temperatures there for the east and warmer temperatures out there for the west. And this is right around when that trough sets up in the east, so this makes a lot of sense. And again, this is what I've been calling for for about a week now, I think. And then you can see by the 2nd of August, we still have those colder than normal temperatures set up in the eastern United States and a little bit of warmth there in the west, but there is some cold there as well. But generally, average temperatures in the east. I think after the, I think the pattern change that I'm calling for mo for the most part is warmer temperatures in the west and near average temperatures in the east, sometimes below average, sometimes above. I think that's the, the safest bet right now. And through the entire run, this is your temperature or precipitation anomalies. You can see it's kind of moist there for the southeastern United States and kind of moist there through South Dakota into Minnesota and into Wisconsin. But besides that, we have a lot of areas of below average precipitation, including uh, Illinois into Indiana, Ohio, and up into New England, besides coastal New England, where we're expecting above average precipitation. And then we have an area there for the four corner states that expect, is expecting to be a little bit more dry as well, as well as North Dakota, Montana, and uh, Minnesota as well, expecting to be below average precipitation. Anyway, guys, that's that pattern change that I'm calling for as of right now. These things are pretty long term and don't always pan out perfectly, but I am expecting this as the CFS, European GFS are all calling for this. And usually when they're all calling for it, we get something that at least resembles this. So it shouldn't be too far off from what I've just shown in this video. This is what the models are calling for. And I'm just here to inform you that this, this is what the models are calling for through the end of July. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.